Good morning, folks. We've got a solar cycle update, a bit of perspective and review of what you might have missed last night. We also have some solar wind on the way, and we're going to start there over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star on the verge of being boring, but for an enormous coronal hole staring right at us. There are no sunspots today and no eruptive behaviors. Not surprisingly, the X-ray flux shows solar flares flatlined. So now let's come to 211 angstroms and get a better look at this coronal hole. It is already magnetically connected to Earth, Alpha and Waves 2. Its solar winds due at Earth tonight or tomorrow morning and will stand out clearly against low intensity streams here now. Geomagnetic conditions should intensify as we enter the week. Let's take a long-term look at the sun and its sunspot cycle. We have not yet bottomed out in all likelihood in terms of the sunspot minimum, putting late 2019, 2020, and even as late as early 2021 in terms of when sunspots are expected to return once again. For those who don't know, it is the observer's forecast that we get at least one more sunspot cycle before a grand minimum would set in. In terms of comparing the length of this cycle to previous ones, we are currently on the pink line, declining quickly, but still with a while to go until the next sunspot cycle begins. At the end of the show, we'll see tonight's forecast for this region, but last night we showed what's forecast for next weekend. A major storm is on the way and will materialize towards the end of this week, raking across the entire country with strong storms in the south and even more snow up north. We'll keep eyes on that this week as the forecast develops. Late last night, we released a little dark matter do -si do and saw how easy it is to understand what different press releases are saying if you begin putting things in the larger picture. Speaking of the bigger picture, how does one resolve the river of terrible news and statistics coming out of the disaster-stricken island of Puerto Rico? Stop the statistics themselves from being made. Something tells me this does not exactly help fix any of the problems, although it is likely to fix the reporting of those problems. So we've still got the sun staggering, solar wind from coronal holes on the way, weather staying firm into April in the north, and a not-so-fantastic bit of news out of Puerto Rico. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, right now. It's 5.05 a.m. in the new valley at the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.